Aziz, light! Welcome to the shop, Feller Maker, continuing our adventure with our vendor car head thing. Also, thank you so much for all the great names for our uh, projector here. We went with Aziz. A lot of you recommended Aziz because we're all obsessed with the fifth element. So thank you again. That was a lot of fun reading your suggestions. Today, we're going to work on designing Bender's noggin. We have a lot of things to consider. It has to look like him but it's also got to have some features. Eventually he's going to have moving eyes and eyelids, an animated mouth, and who knows whatever other features we're going to cram in there. So we have to think of all that stuff now while we design it. Let's take a peek at his character sheet, see what we can cook up. This is Bender's character sheet. I just did a Google search for Bender character sheet, and this was the first result. This is something that you would hand to one of his animators so that they could draw him consistently over all the different frames. So there are things like proportion, specific notes about how he holds his arms, how he holds objects. Uh, we can use this to figure out exactly how we should design the shape of his head. Let's take a closer look. Let's zoom in. There's Bender's head. Actually, let's, let's zoom in a little further. There we go. There's our handsome guy. Uh, this is obviously a little crude and zoomed in, but we can see um, the height of his eye visor thing is really important. The, he is a tube. His head is just a tube with a cap on it. However, his mouth is not perfectly tube-like. His lower jaw is actually inset a tiny bit, and that's going to affect the placement of his teeth. The sheet with all of this information even helps give us indications as to where all of these features should be. This one right here is actually super, super useful. Knowing what we know now, why don't we go jump into our CAD software and start designing what this guy's going to look like. I've been working on Bender's head model here in Fusion for a few hours and I have my cardboard model here too. It's really useful to have something where you can get real world dimensions so you have some concept of what you're actually making in 3D. Super, super helpful. Uh, I focused on the aesthetics for this first sort of step for the modeling and I've been using my character sheet and trying to find all the little nuances about Bender. His head is not a perfect cylinder. In fact, the front of his face comes out a little bit and I've tried my best to include that curve here. I think that looks pretty great. Uh, CAD modeling wants to be very sort of rectilinear, very um, non-organic, so adding a little bit of character that way will help it feel more real, I think. Uh, like I said, this is just the aesthetics, and I think I'm getting pretty close. There are things like how wide his visor might be. That's something I could tweak. The size of his eyes, the placement of his eyes, the placement of his antenna. This mouth is just a mock up of his teeth, um, I'm going to have to come in, in with a much more uh, developed <laughs> effort <laughs> to get his teeth to work. But I want to see how he looks. I can put him in his car, I can unhide all the bits here and see if that's something that we're happy with. And I, and I am. I think the look is really getting there. Now this model is not printable yet. You'll see if I like get rid of his visor, these eyes are just kind of floating there. There's no place to attach it. That'll be the next step. I need to figure out how all these things are gonna both print as separate pieces and then how they're gonna to attach together. That includes things like coming up with ways to register these parts together, but also places to put some more of those heat set inserts that we used on the car in the head so that we can use screws to take it apart and put it back together when we're working on it. This is something we're gonna to have to service frequently, especially while we're getting all the mechanisms put in there. So this is where we are right now. I have a lot more work to do, uh, but the aesthetics are definitely getting there. I'm really happy, really, really happy with how he's looking. It's starting to get some character. You can see if he had angry eyebrows, it would really, really sell it. I love it. Some time has passed and I've modeled the inside of Bender's head. Uh, I really wanted to make sure that I could make changes in the future. And I even considered that the entire head uh, cavity may be replaced. I may do a painted version and then I may want to do one that gets chromed, which would be time consuming and expensive. Um, so everything in this needs to be able to be swapped out and I want to show you how I'm planning on doing that.
So Bender's head looks like normal from the outside, but if I hide his fake teeth and cut into him, we can see on the inside there's a little bit more going on here. It's one of the reasons I really like working in CAD. You can just use a section analysis to pop off part of your model. You can see the inside. There are screw holes here so that the visor can be screwed in, not permanently. There is a screw hole up here that will be to retain the entire eye mechanism. If I hide this uh, mock-up for the eyes, you can see there's a whole cavity there where the eye mechanism will slide in and get, and get retained right there. And then um, these spots over here, if I hide the visor, you can see not only do these register the visor on there, but there's a screw hole where they'll get screwed in. Now, if I swap my analysis, we can look at the back. Boop. And there are these uh, mounting points all over the inside of the helmet. And this is so that we can screw in panels on these spots and those panels will hold things like the battery, microprocessors or microcontrollers, uh, servos, that sort of thing. And again, I can swap them out. If a specific design doesn't work, I can just swap out that panel. Hopefully that means I don't have to print this whole thing more than once. Uh, that said, it is time to start slinging some plastic. So why don't we head downstairs to the 3D printing area and get to work. Recently, you probably saw us do a little bit of upgrading over here at our 3D printing station, and we've done even more. So we've got the one enclosed uh, Prusa printer over here, but our buddy Joel, the 3D printing nerd, he hooked us up with another Prusa machine and another enclosure over here. And then the folks at Prusa Research sent us a Core 1, which we've got right down there, and I've just been putting it through its paces. So these will be the perfect machines to print Bender's head. And we're gonna do it all some PTG. I didn't do anything fancy with the printing. Uh, we used some supports where we had to, and other than that, I got to try out the new machine, which worked really, really well. I also tried out the satin build plate that we got, which worked incredible with the PET-G, um, and I think I wanna use that going forward for some more projects. Overall, the machines performed admirably. These parts came out really fast and looking really good. It's gonna be a ton of fun putting them all together. Behold, it's Bender's head. Most of his head, anyway. Uh, these parts go together in a particular way. I'm not going to adhere his head together yet. I wanna figure out things like the mechanisms before uh, like this cap gets glued on and then seamed and sanded and everything. So I'm not gonna do that yet. Uh, but I do wanna show you how everything goes together. I printed these separately for a couple of reasons. One, the printer wasn't big enough, but two, also so that I can access stuff while I'm working on it. The head cap here has a registration uh, mark right there so that it can only go in one way since his head is not perfectly cylindrical. Uh, his antenna will be only decorative. However, this part here has a thread on it so that I can take it off. The base for that will get glued in place and he'll travel like this. I don't want this getting snapped, so it can unscrew, and then when he gets to his destination, we can just screw in his uh, antenna here. And that is 3D printed threads right there, which uh, worked very well. Super excited about those. The bottom half and his mouth right here will get attached to the top half eventually, just like that. So that this part here makes the upper lip. On the inside of the lip area, I have a couple of spots for threaded inserts. Those will be to attach his teeth once we make those. His visor, which I'm sure I'm gonna have to put on and take off a bunch of times, uh, registers with these four pegs on the front of his face that also have uh, screw holes through them so that they can be retained. Uh, and that locks right on nice and snug, which feels great. Uh, there's a little spot in there to retain the eye rig when we eventually make that. For now, I've made a mock-up We'll put a heat set insert in that so we can install his eyes there, you know, so the thumbnail looks good. I'll also probably paint the orange filament gray so it all matches. The whole thing, of course, will get sanded and painted, but uh, I'm just too excited. I want him to look perfect now. It's time to install all of those heat set inserts. This is not plugged in yet, by the way, it's not hot. Uh, I've got these M4 heat set inserts. They're gonna get installed with this soldering iron, and I made my own custom heat set insert installing tool. It screws right into the uh, soldering iron like that. It's just a piece of brass that is just the right size for one of these inserts to go on. 
so that we can use this to press it into our boy's head. Let's give it a shot. Here we go. Oh, isn't that nice? Look at that. With that set up there, we can install our mock-up mock -up eyes. Again, just temporary till we get the real ones done. There we go. Yeah. That's great. These screw holes on the bottom here are so that we can attach the entire head to whatever system we're going to use to mount it to the car. I don't know what that looks like yet, but I do know that eight screws should be enough. I keep touching the hot, the one, stop, no, hot. So far these inserts have gone great, but I'm starting to run into spots where I can't push straight into the socket there. So I think what I need to do is just bend the tip of this so that I have a little bit of an angle to work with. See if we can give this just a 30 degree bend without totally goofing it up. There we go. Hopefully I didn't get the threads all buggered. There we go, now we can press that down at the correct angle. Oh, that looks nice. That's all of them, I think. The way these work, screws feed in from the back and those will attach to our heat set inserts so that I can pop this on there and temporarily secure it from behind. <laughs> it's Bender! It's Bender! Look at that. Get a grill in there and he'll look pretty dapper. I'm excited to see how he looks on the car. So I'm gonna touch him up a little bit and let's get him installed on the car. Here is how we left Bender, our handsome devil made of cardboard. I'm gonna pop that out, keeping this. Uh, I made a new base to go in there. This will be replaced with a more <laughs> elegant solution, but I was able to use the screw holes to attach it to the base for now, nice and temporary. That'll pop in there. I made some temporary teeth. Again, they just slide right in there, so he looks good before we make all those. And then the rest of this can go together. We have the next part of his head. We have the top of his head, which goes like this. There it is. His removable antenna. Again, this unscrews for travel. And I just made that pressure fit in there. And then of course his eyes. Let's put those on the front of him. There it is, nice. And I'll just put some tape on here to keep him from falling apart so we can have a good look at him. Oh, he's awesome. This is really starting to come together. I'm super, super pumped to get the next steps done. Uh, I also made a screwdriver. It's on the printer right now. I was thinking I wanna have a, oh, it just fell right off. I wanna have a dedicated screwdriver that I leave inside of Bender's head that can undo everything. And that's what this is for. I'm just gonna add a 2.5 millimeter Allen wrench to that, and then we can donate it to Bender. Here is the Allen wrench that I'm gonna use. I just hacked off the angled portion there. Me, me, me. Me. It should bonk right on there. Full disclosure, this is my second try. The first one was much too small. Oh, like a glove. That's it. There, I made my own screwdriver. So far, all the screws I've used on Bender here use this 2.5 millimeter hex head key here. So if this lives with him at any point, if I need to take him apart, I can just open him up, pull out the exact tool I need, and it'll just live in there. I don't have a spot for it to clip into, but we'll deal with that in a future video. And I'm really excited to work on this some more, because the next thing we're gonna do is the eyes. I wanna have mechanical moving eyes. I've got a bunch of pals who do animatronic stuff who I've been talking to. Uh, we have some plans. Uh, it's gonna be really neat to tinker with it and prototype and experiment, and I can't wait to bring you on the journey. 
Uh, I hope you're getting as excited as I am about seeing Bender come together. Uh, we took a little bit of a break through the, through the winter, but uh, I really want to make sure we can bring this to events this summer, so I am very motivated to get him finished. Thanks so much for watching. A special thank you for the members of our Extra Credit Club. We really could use the support. Uh, five bucks from you every month does a lot to help us keep making these videos. We also have a ton of perks. Uh, if you like some of our paid 3D models and you haven't got them yet, we give those to our uh, members for free now. So if you're a member and you haven't grabbed some of our 3D printing files, there's a post where you can go grab those. Or if you want to jump in on the fun today, you can join. There will be a link down below to Patreon and YouTube memberships. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. We'll see you in the next build. <laughs> it's not, not a lot of get up and go in this guy. <laughs>